Hi my YouTubers, this is Catherine Kangas here. So today I want to show you how I plate some of my Ghanaian foods. Today I was very hungry and I'm still hungry. So I just made a very rustic eto. Eto is plantain mash with palm oil, avocado and boiled egg with some peanuts. And we have chili and onion as the base and then you add the plantain and the rest goes in. So today I want to show you how I'm going to play this into something fine dining, which is something I'm very passionate about. So I have all my prep done. It's very important when you want to play it in a fine dining to have everything done because you have to keep the temperature of the food up and at the right temperature so you can serve it. So let me take you through what I have here. My little prep here. It's exactly from the Ayua onto this plate. From my Ayua onto the plate. So here I have some peanut crumbs. I added a bit of spice to it. To give it a bit of a kick, a surprise little in there, which is normally I just added chili, cloves, nutmeg, and uh, some other Ghanaian spices. And here I have some pickled onions, which is going to add a little bit of texture. Because in here, as you can see, this is my only texture. The eto is very soft. The egg is almost soft, and the avocado is also soft. But in the fine dining, when you have something like this, you have to have something surprising. So something crunchy, something crispy, something that gives a wow factor. So I have pickled some normal white onions here. The pickled sauce, um, the pickled water is vinegar and water. So here it is, pickled. And then I have some avocado puree in here. So instead of making the normal avocado, for the fine dining, I have some puree in here, which is just avocado, salt, and uh, lemon. Okay, hi. So here I am. I try to get myself in the camera also to show you what I'm doing. And let's see how it goes. So I have my eto here, which is why, how we eat it traditionally back in Ghana. So And I eat it like this also in the house. So I'm going to transfer this everything on this plate to make it nicer on this plate for your fine dining satin. So I'm going to need two spoons to scoop my eto. Take this egg out. So the eto, luckily for me, I got quite a soft texture because I use semi-ripe plantain. So if you can see, semi-ripe plantain. So it's quite actually soft, which is going to help me mold it into something nice. Good. So first I'm going to add some peanuts onto the plate. So this spice peanuts. I'm putting the peanuts first because I want the eto to stay. I don't want it falling over when I put it on the plate. So a little bit of peanuts goes in there. And then I'm going to scoop the eto onto the plate. So two spoons. I'm going to make something like a cone. So you take a whole big spoon of it all. Like that. I hope this can help you. I don't have a good camera to do it, but I just wanted to show you the passion and how I do this. So first time and we'll see how it goes. So a very big tablespoon of the top and then crush it down with the other spoon. So once you crush it, just clean it up a bit. I get you closer a bit here for you to see. So this way, from the spoon to the other spoon. And that's just going to help you clean it up and make it a nice cone. So from the spoon, clean it up onto the other spoon and clean it up. So it's just cleaning it up and making sure you have a nice cone. So this now goes onto my plate now, carefully. There you go. So it's on the plate now. Try to clean it up a bit. I have to clean it up after I finish plating everything. So just a little bit tense. Oh, she stopped. It moved, but we'll still get it down. 
when we finish everything doesn't always go right in the kitchen but sometimes you just have to adapt and this is just something that i just wanted to like impulsively show my my followers and my believers people that trust what i do what it goes on in the kitchen so here it goes so now i have it all there i'm gonna clean it up a bit because we had it moving all over the plate so let it get get it back all cleaned up onto the peanuts that went in first so yes looking better now good and then here we have the avocado so how are we going to have the avocado on we need a spoon so i'm going to clean one spoon here actually i would have loved to have a piper in the house but i realized i didn't have a piper but i still want to show this so much that i'm still going to adapt and then we'll see how it looks after this one you never know so originally I wanted to pipe, but I don't have a pipe. So mixing it all together nicely. And then get yourself a nice good scoop of avocado. Then add it to the plate. There you go. So I want to make something odd. So I'm going to have one of the top bowl. So I'm going to go maybe two or three of the avocado sauce just to give a contrast and make your eyes travel all over the plate so it makes it nicer so another do lop of it on the other side mix get another do lop of it and just randomly put it anywhere on the plate i wish you could see this plate i'm so sorry i can't show you the plate as much as I would have wanted you to see but we'll see what happens i'll try and then twist over and we'll see okay got another one on there looking good so next you're going to add the pickles onion the egg and then the palm nut oil so i want you to see so i'm going to swap over the camera and then you can see what's going on okay so here we have it this is what it's looking so far. We are left with the pickled onions, the egg, and the palm nut oil. The palm nut oil has fried onions in there, and I did add a bit of anchovy. Back home, back in Ghana, I think we call it momone or kobe. You can just fry it in the oil, which gives a very, very authentic Ghanaian taste to the palm oil. So here I have a bit of canned anchovy in there. I fried it a bit of canned anchovies in there. So now I'm going to get my pickled onions on the plate so just randomly put them on the plate just to create an, an odd contrast to what you're plating There we go. I think I'm going to add a bit two more because I have one, three, and then just go for five. So we have enough something to crunch on. So just randomly place them. Just shift it a bit here. There you go. Then we get one more. So just create a contrast somewhere here the other one there you go well they didn't go as planned but hey let's try and fix it there better now it's looking promising already so i have my pickles onion there so let's clean this up kitchen napkin here and then i'm going to get the fried onions in here onto the plate the palm oil is going to come first, so just a few fried onions because they carry the spice and the aroma of the palm oil. Just a little one there. There. Let's 
so oh, I got myself a very nice one which I'm gonna just place right sorry here there you go so this is looking promising already one more and there good so you just get everything closer on the plate sometimes you you you, you kind of like spread it but depending on the flavor combinations you you plate on depending on the flavor combination so here i want everything incorporated when you take a good scope so i have an here which i'm going to just cut into two half an egg nicely boiled and then i'm going to let this be the star and it will sit Just right there. Not sitting well, but let's see if we turn it and see how it's going to look like. Maybe onto that's the other side. It's not easy to plate, trust me. Okay, so just on the other side. All looking good. Little bit move it. Okay, so now we are left with our palm oil, which is just going to go all over. That will be the wow factor. A little bit of a clean on the plate. I have some water and a pickled onion on there. Always make sure your plate is clean. So we clean up a bit. And there we have it all looking good. Everything on the plate. So under there you can see, take you closer, we have the peanuts crumbs. Spicy peanut crumbs down there. We have the eto here. And then we have the avocado puree. Which I would have loved to pipe, but I didn't have a piper at home. So we have some pickled onions and fried onions. And then we have the boiled egg. So this is what we have. And then finally, we are going to finish with a palm oil. Which is going to be like a binding ingredient to bind everything together. The avocado will do the binding ingredients, but the palm oil is just to introduce that authentic Ghanaian flavor onto the plate. So now, right now, I'm actually debating where I should put the palm oil. I feel like just going crazy with it, but let's try and keep it, the plate clean and then just a little bit over here. There we have it. So I decided to just keep the palm nut oil on this side because it has a very pungent, strong Ghanaian taste. So just to give a little bit of option to my diners, if it doesn't go really well, you don't have to really eat it. So because we already have some palm oil already in the eto, which is a plantain mush, just a bit of an option. But it would taste good if you bind everything good together because we have this, the avocado, we have the pickles, we have the fried onions, and then we have the egg as a protein. So for a vegan diet, you just have to take off the egg and then it's that perfect dish for you. So this is how it goes on from this plate. My you are here. Everything in this ayua on this plate. It's not that simple. It's that simple. It's not that simple. So I hope you enjoyed this few tricks. So this is how it goes on behind my kitchen when I'm doing my plating. See you next time. Bye.